Friends, good morning. Welcome to St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Church. Welcome to our Mass today. Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Thomas Aquinas. In the midst of the church, he opened his mouth, and the Lord filled him with the spirit of wisdom and understanding and clothed him in a robe of glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Friends, as we are gathered today to celebrate this Eucharist, we call to mind our sins and failures. We ask God to grant us pardon and forgiveness so that we may be renewed and that we may worthily partake of this sacred Eucharist. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who made St. Thomas Aquinas outstanding in his zeal for holiness and his study of sacred doctrine, grant as we pray that we may understand what he taught and imitate what he accomplished. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, since through the blood of Jesus we have confidence of entrance into the sanctuary by the new and living way he opened for us through the veil, that is, his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us approach with a sincere heart and in absolute trust with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed in pure water. Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope. For he who made the promise is trustworthy. We must consider how to rouse one another to love and good works. We should not stay away from our assembly, as is the custom of some, but encourage one another. And this is all the more as you see the day drawing near. The word of the Lord. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it. For he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. A lamp to my feet is your word, a light to my path. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamb brought in to be placed under bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has, who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, 
take care what you hear, the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what, what he has will be taken away. Dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. A lamp is meant to be seen and to make men able to see. To do this, it has to be put in a place where it will be visible to all and not under a bed. Reading this, we can immediately think of the truth. The truth is meant to be seen. It is not meant to be concealed. In fact, even if you conceal it or hide it, it will always come out. Truth always has a way of coming out. So the direct and explicit reminder of our gospel today is this. Tell the truth at all times. Do not hide the truth. Speak it. Speak about it. Put it out there. There may be times when it is dangerous to tell the truth. There may be times when to tell the truth is the quickest way to persecution and to trouble. But the true man and the true Christian will stand by the truth in the face of all. But another way of seeing our gospel today is to see our Christianity as that lamp. Our Christianity must be a light that is meant to be seen and that makes men able to see. Were we not told that we are the salt of the earth and the light of the world? Therefore, our Christianity is meant to be seen like a lamp. It must not be concealed. It must not be hidden. It must be seen and it must be visible at all times in everything that we do. One day, Francis of Assisi invited one of the young friars to join him on a trip, on a trip into town to preach. The young friar was so honored at receiving such an invitation from St. Francis that he quickly accepted it. They paused beneath a tree and Francis stooped to return a young bird to its nest. They went on and stopped in a field crowded with reapers and Francis bent his back to help load the hay onto a cart. From there, they went to the town square where Francis lifted a bucket of water from the well for an old woman and carried it home for her. All day long, he and St. Francis walked through the streets and byways, alleys and suburbs, and they rubbed shoulders with hundreds of people. Each time they stopped, the young friar was sure that St. Francis would stop and preach. But no words of great truth or wise discourse issued from the saint's mouth. Finally, they went into the church, but Francis only knelt silently to pray. At the end of the day, the two headed back home. Not once had St. Francis addressed a crowd, nor had he talked to anyone about the gospel. So this young monk was so greatly disappointed that he said to St. Francis, I thought we were going into town to preach. St. Francis responded, My son, we have preached. We were preaching while we were walking and in everything we did. We were seen by many, and our behavior was closely watched. It is of no use to walk anywhere to preach unless we preach everywhere as we walk. So preach the gospel at all times, and use words only if necessary. Friends, our Christianity should always be like a lamp that can be seen by all men. We Christians are closely watched all the time. So make sure that they can see your identity as a true Christian. Amen.
Sisters and brothers, Jesus has urged us to live our lives in his light and truth. We pray for Christians everywhere that the goodness of their lives may be a light, revealing the compassionate face of Christ to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for families where members hide secrets from each other, that they may be able to grow in trust of one another, forgive, be healed, and advance in goodness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who share the priesthood of Jesus through their baptism, that they will grow in holiness uncontaminated by the negative influences of the world. We pray to the, to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who invoke St. Thomas Aquinas as patron, students, along with philosophers and theologians, that all will seek the truth with humility. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And now in the silence of our hearts, we offer to the Lord all our prayers and petitions. Lord, our God, give us a love for truth so that, they will, so that we will always know your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread, the offer you fruit of the earth, and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, we will be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sins. And so pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of blessed Thomas Aquinas be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by him we too give ourselves entirely to you in praise, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Thomas Aquinas, you bid your church rejoice. So too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your spirit that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you love greatest love for your Son who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving it thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in a similar way when supper was ended knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine and once more giving you thanks handed the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death o lord until you come again Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, and those who unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart together with Francis, our Pope, and Alberto, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints, in the halls of heaven, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. And now what our Savior is command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, my dear friends, Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Behold, a faithful and prudent steward to give them their allowance of food at the proper time. Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of blessed Thomas Aquinas we may, they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity through Christ our Lord. Friends, thank you so much for joining us in this celebration. See you in a bit for the distribution of communion and afterwards for confession. Enjoy the rest of your day. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless and keep you and your loved ones in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.